Um, hello, ladies. How is everybody? Good. All right. I bet you can't guess what I'm showing. Come on, ladies. All right. Our takeout dies, thinlets. This is what you get. It's really fun. There's a lot. And there's so many other things I didn't have time to get done that I thought of, like a little Easter basket using the little bunny punch. Wouldn't that be cute? Okay, we'll move on. You're not going to see that, so you can go home and do it. Okay, I'm just going to show you just a few fun little ones that we've done, and I'm going to show you a couple things I did on them. Uh, this is one just using the animal outing set and the leaf ribbon. You could put animal cookies in it. Really simple. I did stamp it before you put the box together, you know, while it's flat. Okay, here's one using our, um, what is this, peaceful poinsettias. I made me little things. I stamped this on vellum. If you, I use the stays on pad. Works really good. Dries pretty fast. And then you can just color it. There it's just stamped on the side of it. And then the thank you, or the Merry Christmas on the back. Okay, I'm going to show you some. This was uh, done with our, okay, what's the paper called? Promenade. Petal Promenade DSP. <clears throat> and the beautiful promenade set. So um, just, you know, you just cut it out normal, and it works best for me anyways. Push the big sides, the side that's cut, this side right here, down first on both sides, and then put one little glue dot on the middle of the others and push them down and it holds it all down. And it makes it stronger than just put a handle on it. This is a bath bomb on there for that one. It's easy. And here's another one done with the same um, paper tied. With this one, I just put the two out, the inside pieces outside, punched a little hole in there and tied the ribbon. You know, I sometimes have trouble opening and closing these little boxes, I have to say. So that just made it easier. Here's another one just done just with DSP, really simple with the festive farmhouse paper. I mean, you know, you don't really have to do anything to them. They're so darn cute. <laughs> so I don't like that. This is one of my favorites. I love this angel. Um, this is also done on vellum and just mounted on the top. The little, the, in this set, it comes with these little dies that fit, per, or stamps that fit perfect on there. Okay, you can stack them. It's a little snowman. And I, you don't glue it or anything, just make your boxes, fill it with your treats, and then just put them on top and tie it with a ribbon. Then they can get treats out of both of them, and you can fill both of them with treats. This is washi tape right here on this one. I did it faceless, you can tell. I don't um, usually, these little boxes, run them through too many, uh, if you were gonna run it through a folder before you put it together. It weakens the box, you know, if it's a very, if there's a lot going on on the folder, it'll weaken the box, not make it very strong. So I don't usually do that, I just kinda accent with it, but you can, you can run it through and do it that way. And these are done with the little uh, seasonal chums, you know, so you got a butt, <laughs> the front, and a butt on that. And um, anyways, it's just a fun, there's one. Here's a snowman, the snowman one. And I used Stella, that's what I used, Stella. Um, and this one I didn't even close, you know, I just put my plastic or my cello bag in there and just left it open like that for that one, and this one has a butt too. And then here's the little, uh, it does light up. Can you see that it's lit up? So I put a little tea light in there. I mean, ladies, it can't get any easier than this, let me tell you. You know, I did, uh, this is done out of vellum, the box, so the light will shine through it. And I did take a little exacto knife and cut out the mouth and eyeballs, I will have to say that. Okay, and he has a butt too. <laughs> so that's kind of a fun, a fun uh, set that a lot of us have from last year. Okay, and I also wanted to show you how you can make it. This is a little coffin, and it was just done with, you just cut out two of these. So 
don't do the whole thing, just cut your paper smaller. And you need a little bit of a lip at the bottom to glue it together, okay, on that. So it's just kind of fun and you can put your little candies in there like that. Just show you can do something a little bit different with it. Okay, I gotta show you this little guy. Isn't he cute? I just love him. He's just so cute with his buffalo check honking nose. Okay, and I want to show you, see how, the, see the little ears? Those are made with the heart that's in your framelits, comes in your framelits, this little heart. And so let me show you what you do. It's just really simple. So you've got to break down the, the fibers. So you just do that, just on the top. You put a little glue dot right there and you just go like that. And then put a glue dot on the back and stick her on. Okay, super simple. And then the, the antlers, of course, are done with our sprig punch right there. Isn't he cute? He doesn't have a butt, but he's cute anyways. All right, I, I could have gave him a butt. I should have, huh? All right, and this is with our Signs of Santa. And um, I did a little window out of this. It comes with your little framelit to cut a window out. The only problem with the window is that if you center it on there, when you put your box together, the little lip right here sticks out into the window, okay? Because it's long, it's bigger. So I just trimmed it with a pair of scissors. So it still works. It still works to do that one. This one I added a little bow to the top. This was, this was one of my little favorite ones. This is my little elf guy, elf one. There's a little, a little elf in the box. Just super simple, just, you know, I just took uh, one inch pieces and went back and forth, you know how you do, like you did with your kids thing, and stick it in there and stick an elf on top. Really, it's kind of fun because it just pops up at you. And now you don't even have to stamp anything, you just put your framelit on your paper and run it through the big shot, you know, so. Okay, that was, uh, that was it. If I had more time, I would have had more boxes for you. But.